Welcome to our channel where we explore the world's most fascinating destinations. Today, we're going to take you on a virtual tour of Rome, Italy's capital city, and show you our top 10 favorite places to visit. From ancient ruins to breathtaking architecture, Rome has something for everyone. So let's get started. Colosseum. The Colosseum is an iconic landmark in Rome and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city. It was originally built between 70 to 80 AD and could hold between 50,000 to 80,000 spectators. The Colosseum was used for gladiatorial contests, public spectacles, and other events that were meant to entertain and impress the citizens of Rome. The amphitheater is an incredible example of ancient engineering and architecture. It's a massive structure that stands 48 meters tall and has a circumference of 545 meters. The Colosseum was made from concrete and stone and is a testament to the ingenuity and skill of ancient Roman engineers and builders. Today, visitors can tour the Colosseum and learn about its fascinating history. The lower levels of the amphitheater were used as holding areas for the animals and gladiators before the events. Visitors can also see the underground tunnels that were used to transport the animals and performers to the arena. Vatican City Vatican City is a city-state located within Rome and it's the smallest country in the world in terms of both size and population. It's the spiritual and administrative center of the Catholic Church and is home to some of the most iconic art and architecture in the world. The must-visit attractions in Vatican City include Street Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican Museums. Street Peter's Basilica is the largest church in the world and is a magnificent example of Renaissance architecture. The Sistine Chapel is famous for its stunning ceiling frescoes, painted by Michelangelo between 1508 to 1512. The Vatican Museums contain one of the world's largest collections of art, including ancient sculptures, Renaissance paintings, and modern works. The museum's most famous section is the Gallery of Maps, which contains a series of 16th century maps of Italy and the world. Overall, Vatican City is a fascinating destination that is rich in history, culture, and art. Trevi Fountain The Trevi Fountain is a stunning Baroque fountain located in the heart of Rome. It's one of the most famous fountains in the world and is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Rome. The fountain was completed in 1762 and was designed by the Italian architect Nicola Salvi. The Trevi Fountain is famous for its size, beauty, and its legend. According to the legend, if you throw a coin over your left shoulder into the fountain, you will ensure your return to Rome. The fountain is adorned with various sculptures and motifs, including the sea god Neptune, who is riding a chariot pulled by two seahorses. The fountain is surrounded by Rococo-style sculptures and carvings, which were added by various artists over the years. At night, the fountain is illuminated, which makes it even more magical and enchanting. The Trevi Fountain is not only a work of art, but it's also an important symbol of Rome and its rich history and culture. Roman Forum The Roman Forum is an ancient archaeological site located in the center of Rome. It was the political, social, and commercial center of the city during the Roman Republic and Empire, and it's one of the most important historical and cultural landmarks in Rome. The Roman Forum was the site of many important public events and ceremonies, including triumphal processions, public speeches, and gladiatorial contests. Today, visitors can tour the Roman Forum and see the ruins of these important buildings, along with other ancient structures such as the Arch of Titus and the Temple of Antoninus and Faustina. They can also learn about the history of the Roman Empire and its impact on Western civilization. One of the most famous structures in the Roman Forum is the Colosseum, which is located nearby. The Colosseum was used for gladiatorial contests and public spectacles, and it's considered one of the most iconic landmarks in Rome. Overall, the Roman Forum is a fascinating destination that offers a glimpse into the history and culture of ancient Rome. Pantheon The Pantheon is a magnificent ancient temple located in the heart of Rome. It was originally built as a temple to all the gods in 27 BC, but it was later converted into a Christian church in the 7th century AD. The Pantheon is one of the best-preserved ancient Roman buildings in the world and is considered one of the most important architectural achievements of the Roman Empire. The Pantheon is famous for its massive dome, which was the largest unsupported dome in the world until the 20th century. The dome is made of concrete and is over 43 meters in diameter. The dome's design is considered a masterpiece of engineering, 
and it's still studied by architects and engineers today. The interior of the Pantheon is equally impressive, with a circular space that is over 43 meters in diameter. The dome has an opening in the center called the oculus, which provides natural light and serves as a symbolic connection to the heavens. The oculus is also a marvel of engineering, as it was designed to allow rainwater to drain out of the building. Today, the Pantheon is still used as a church, and visitors can attend mass and other religious services there. Spanish Steps The Spanish Steps are a beautiful set of steps located in the heart of Rome. They were built in the early 18th century to connect the Piazza di Spagna at the base with the Trinita dei Monti Church at the top. The steps are made of travertine stone and feature 138 steps in total, which make for an impressive sight. The Spanish Steps are a popular gathering place for tourists and locals alike, and they offer stunning views of the surrounding area. At the base of the Spanish Steps, visitors will find the Barcaccia Fountain, which was designed by the famous Italian sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The fountain features a boat-shaped basin and is said to represent the flooding of the Tiber River in 1598. The Spanish Steps are also surrounded by luxury shops and boutiques, making them a popular destination for high-end shopping. The area is also home to several prestigious art galleries and museums, including the Keats Shelley Memorial House, which is dedicated to the lives and works of the famous poets John Keats and Percy Bysshe Shelley. Piazza Navona Piazza Navona is a beautiful public square located in the heart of Rome. It was originally built in the first century AD as a stadium for athletic competitions, and it's now one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city. The square features three magnificent fountains, including the famous Fountain of the Four Rivers, which was designed by the famous Baroque artist Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The fountain features four figures representing the major rivers of the world, the Nile, the Ganges, the Danube, and the Rio de la Plata. The fountain is considered one of the most beautiful and iconic fountains in Rome. Piazza Navona is also home to several beautiful churches, including the Church of Santa Agnes in Egon, which was designed by the famous architect Francesco Borromini. The church features a magnificent Baroque facade and is considered one of the most beautiful churches in Rome. Piazza Navona is also home to many street performers and artists who provide entertainment for visitors throughout the day and into the evening. Castel Sant'Angelo Castel Sant'Angelo is a historic fortress located in Rome, Italy, situated on the banks of the Tiber River. Originally built as a mausoleum for the Emperor Hadrian and his family in the 2nd century AD, the building was later converted into a castle and used as a military fortress, a papal residence, and a prison. The castle is best known for its striking cylindrical shape and its beautiful statue of the Archangel Michael, which sits atop the building. Visitors can climb to the top of the castle and enjoy stunning panoramic views of the city. Inside the castle, visitors can explore the many rooms and galleries that showcase the building's rich history. The castle's collection includes historic weapons, armor, and artwork, as well as the original papal apartments, which are beautifully decorated with frescoes and other works of art. One of the most interesting aspects of Castel Sant'Angelo is its role in Roman history. During the Middle Ages, the castle was used as a refuge for popes during times of political unrest, and it was also used as a prison. Tiber Island Tiber Island is a small island located in the middle of the Tiber River, which flows through Rome. The island is known for its unique shape and its rich history dating back to ancient Roman times. According to legend, the island was created in the 6th century BC when the Romans built a wooden bridge across the Tiber River. The bridge was said to have been built on top of a cluster of boats that had been sunk in the river, creating a natural island. Over the centuries, the island was used for a variety of purposes, including as a place for healing and as a center for worship. In the Middle Ages, the island was home to several hospitals and religious institutions, including the Church of San Bartolomeo, which is still standing today. Tiber Island is also known for its beautiful views of the city and its unique charm. The island is accessible by two bridges, the Pont Sestio and the Pont Fabricio, both of which date back to ancient Roman times. Today, Tiber Island is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, and it's a great place to take a leisurely stroll, enjoy a meal or a drink, or simply take in the beautiful views of the city. Trastevere Trastevere is a charming and vibrant neighborhood located on the west bank of the Tiber River, in the heart of Rome. 
The neighborhood is known for its narrow, winding streets, colorful buildings, and lively atmosphere, and it's a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. Trastevere has a long and rich history, dating back to ancient Roman times. During the Middle Ages, the neighborhood was home to many artisans and tradespeople, and it was known for its lively markets and street festivals. Today, Trastevere retains much of its historic charm and character, with its narrow streets lined with small shops, cafes, and restaurants. One of the highlights of Trastevere is its vibrant nightlife. The neighborhood is home to many bars and clubs, and it's a popular destination for young people and tourists looking for a fun night out. The streets are often filled with people enjoying drinks and live music, and the atmosphere is lively and festive. Trastevere is also known for its beautiful churches and historic landmarks, including the Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere, one of the oldest churches in Rome, and the Villa Farnesina, a beautiful Renaissance villa that houses some of the city's most important art collections. Well, that's our top 10 list of places to visit in Rome. We hope you enjoyed our virtual tour, and if you're planning a trip to Rome, be sure to check out these incredible sites. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.